what's up guys it's Mike welcome back or to the channel and today we are finally taking our next steps to getting the Jeep back on the road uh, as you guys can see from the last video we washed it uh, not the best but we washed pretty much the bulk of the dirt off I'd say 90% of the dirt is off uh, there's a little bit of detailing left to do that I would want to take care of but the only thing is I can't drive it yet I'm still holding the front axle in place using uh, ratchet straps and yeah so we we have the control arms already control arms are ready to go in i need to get one bracket re-welded and we'll throw all the control arms in and then we'll get an alignment and we should be good to go uh the only other thing i need to do is get a couple of valves replaced on my tires and get a couple tires replaced but that is something that we will take care of at the same time when we do all the control arms and apparently this guy right here is complaining that he wants to go outside but it's raining right now so he can't so yeah <laughs> but since it is raining today I took the Jeep inside and I think it's time to clean it out because it is filthy it's never been this dirty and as you guys know I get it flooded and get it really dirty quite often so I figured why not show you guys this time around since it is the dirtiest it's been in a long time I'm gonna have to clean out the floors clean out the carpets I already cleaned the outside a little bit we're gonna have to vacuum it all out clean all the surfaces so there's quite a little bit of uh, quite a little bit <laughs> There's quite a bit of stuff to do, so let's get at it. Let's go start right now. And once it is clean, I can finally actually sit in it again <laughs> and we can actually get it going and we'll take it to the shop and get everything welded up. So let's go and let's get it cleaned. Well, first thing I did was take out all of the floor mats. I have all the floor mats here. And the reason I did that is so that the floors can dry. And the way that I get the floors to dry is I leave the windows a crack open on both sides and I plug in this fan. Now, what I do is I use this USB fan with a power bank. That way it doesn't actually drain the battery on the vehicle or anything like that. And you can leave it in your garage or outside, wherever you wanna leave it. The point of having the fan is it gives you airflow and it gets all that moist air and all of that moisture basically out of your vehicle. So when you put this fan on, make sure it's blowing out through this little crack and by leaving the crack open on the other side it creates a ventilation and that will be your intake this is your exhaust this basically sucks in all the air from outside on that side and it'll blow out all hot air that rises to the top through here it works amazing i leave it on for a full day with all the floor mats off and the floors come out great they're super dry after and i don't have to worry about anything uh, molding or anything like that so now what I'm gonna do is vacuum everything including the seats because you can see the seats are very dusty and here is my winch controller I need to uh, clean my winch controller up as well as that light that we lost here is that light now if you remember I had two lights like this on the front this is the other one uh, basically while we were in the mud and in the pud, uh, it basically while we were in that mud hole my brother had to do something to get us out and he had to go get the winch and when he stepped over here unfortunately he stepped on the light it is what it is I'm not gonna cry about it it got us out it got me uh, saved I guess I can call it but right now uh, I don't know if the warranty will cover these. I'm gonna try to claim warranty because there is a warranty on KC lights. But like I said, I don't know if it will cover it. So let's cross our fingers and we'll try to get a new light. Well, first things first, I'm gonna vacuum everything because I can't even really sit on the seats right now because they are completely cooked from us being covered in mud. So we'll vacuum everything, then we'll hop in here and we'll clean off all the surfaces and then eventually I think I'm going to shampoo the seats and the floors. So let's get at it and let's start to vacuum everything and let's hopefully uh, not have too much dirt left because a lot of this stuff does crumble off but uh, only time will tell so let's start.
and there we have one half well vacuuming of one half so we vacuumed the carpets all on this side you can see they're pretty good like I said they still need a little bit of like a shampoo or something to make them come out like new again but, but we'll get there we'll get there the seats not too bad they're not creating dust clouds anymore so that's a plus and the back seat all through here and all of the back is all done here now this I will get when I get the steam cleaner out it will actually take care of all of that and we got to do this side as well as that side and that seat but you can see the difference between the seats here it's kind of nuts like that's not even the same color anymore but now next thing that we have to do is go on that side clean all that stuff so i could put it away and clean off the seat and the floor on that side then we'll get to the back and we'll do the back seat i have to take out a whole bunch of stuff out of the back so we'll focus on the front passenger area first and i did the door jam all the way around here you can see i did this side and i did this side all in here everywhere you can see it looks nice and yellow again and not brown and i did my best over here this stuff is kind of hard to get out but i did get most of it and i got the seat belt as best as i could we will still do the seat belt with the carpet cleaner and you can see what we started with over here look at the door jam on this side So it's pretty dirty. So let's get at it and let's finish off this side. Then we can start cleaning all the surfaces and we'll be most of the way there. So not too bad, we vacuumed everything up, all of the inside, all the passenger section, both of the footwells back here, the seat, I did the sub box as well as all of the front seats and honestly it's not that bad. I thought I was going to have to pull out the steam cleaner, I still might. But honestly, it really doesn't look terrible. I think I'm going to need it more for the floors than the seats. So we probably will pull it out in the end. But right now, I think it is time to start putting things back inside and clean all the surfaces because you can see it is filthy. Next thing I'm going to do is take these floor mats and take them upstairs, clean them in the bathtub while my light charges. That way those will be ready to go. Then we're going to come back. We're going to finish off all the surfaces. So the door panels, the dashboard, the center console there, everything like that. Some of the ceiling. And yeah, so far so good. I'm happy with how it's coming out. And my tip for getting the mud out, out of your carpets is let it dry. Let it dry really well and you got to work it. You really got to work the vacuum. You'll see like if you guys were watching, I went over one spot a couple of times. That's to really get that dust and that dirt out. But really make sure that it's dry. The drier it is, the easier it's going to be. Even if it's a little bit moist, it's not going to want to come out. So for now, I'm going to grab these, go upstairs, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Floor mats are cleaned. 
cat is chilling. And now we're gonna go downstairs and all we have left is some of surfaces and then we gotta steam clean the carpets. And what I've got here is my chemical guys invisible super cleaner so basically this stuff uh it leaves no odor it doesn't leave a shine it doesn't leave a texture it doesn't leave any kind of greasiness and i like it because it actually works really well i've been using this bottle for like a year that you can dilute twice in about half a liter of water and it'll come out perfect it'll work really great it's actually really strong this stuff and i think it's like 20 or 25 bucks a bottle so you can't go wrong and i'm pretty sure it's made in the usa so it's good stuff it honestly is i love it it works great and i definitely recommend it to you guys if you guys are cleaning out your jeeps or any vehicle for that matter and before we start just so you guys can get a good look at everything it is pretty filthy so now let's get to it and i do have a set of brushes that i bought off amazon that you guys can see there's all kinds of different brushes in there so those do help out a little bit too to get inside some of the nooks and crannies but overall it's mostly just a cloth and that stuff that i showed you guys i dilute it pretty good like i fill most of this with water and i put maybe like a tiny bit in the bottom there of the actual uh, cleaning guy the cleaning chemical so yeah Let's get to it, let's clean this girl out. And I still have the vacuum here because I know there's gonna be mud falling off of everything, but at least now I can get inside and I'm not gonna get covered in crap when I'm sitting on the seat cleaning everything, hopefully. <laughs> so let's get it done, let's clean it all out and then we'll go and we'll uh, finish everything off with the, with the vacuum. And then after that, we'll get the carpet cleaner. Sounds like a lot of work, but really it's not that bad. And when we vacuumed back here and I had everything out and I had the seat down, I cleaned the back of the seat already. I cleaned all in here, all of the different like little ledges and stuff on both sides, as well as the ceiling. I cleaned that out. So I just need to basically finish that section of the ceiling forward and a little bit more in the front, but the back should be good. And the carpets were pretty clean. So I don't need to unpack anything in here. That's why we packed everything back up so we should be all right on that part now let's just clean the front section and yeah let's get to it Looking good honestly it came out awesome everything is nice and clean again cup holders front and back it's a little hard to see because I have a cleaning cloth back there Ugh. but we got the cup holders front and back we got inside all of the vents so the vents are nice and clean and we did all of the windows just now as well I will tell you the truth, I'm not a fan of doing this window because as you can see, you can see me in the window and when I put the camera here when we're off-roading, you can see the reflection of like a whole bunch of different stuff. So no matter what I have here, 
even the actual dash reflects so it doesn't really help by cleaning the window i know it sounds kind of uh like an oxymoron but the dirtier the window is then the better image you get for when you're off-roading obviously the outside should be clean but the inside if it's too clean it's too reflective but everything looks good the the steering wheel came out great everything around it all in here all of these little crevices and nooks and areas like that so i think we are good to go and the carpet has a little bit left you can see it is dirty in some patches here and in case you guys are wondering this is what i'll be using today it is a bessel uh bessel <laughs> bissel carpet cleaner and i know i was saying steam cleaner that's just because i was used to using a steam cleaner when i used to be a car detailer but this one is a carpet cleaner and the good thing about this one the reason i bought it is it's pretty portable as you can see the box isn't that big i'll take it out in a minute when i fill it up and take it downstairs but the reason i got the pet one is because if you think about pets what kind of pet stains would you usually get either them going to the bathroom on your floor them being dirty from going outside covered in mud and dirt and stuff like that or yeah basically that's the that's the two main things i can think of so when i bought this i was happy to see that this one actually is good for mud blood cat urine uh skunk odors all kinds of stuff like that so basically all kinds of biological stains uh, i don't know how well the camera caught that on there but yeah anything that is like food or mud or any kind of like uh like actual natural stains things that come from things that aren't like markers or chemicals or uh, if you spilled some kind of uh, drink or something in there with like a fake food coloring, it's not going to do that. But anything natural, any natural stains, it should do. And mud, if you guys know, actually washes out of everything pretty easily. And this stuff attacks it nice. It actually lifts the mud right out of the carpet and gives you a nice clean carpet after. So let's fill her up and let's go attack the carpets. So here it is. Basically, we've got our hose with a scrubbing brush and we've got our cleaning liquid and then our dirty water tank. Now, I also brought with me another brush basically to get any like really dirty areas. Now I'm gonna start back here, do the back two seats on the floor and then we'll keep moving forward. I'm not gonna do the seat in the back because I always have the sub there and no one was sitting there covered in mud. So the vacuuming actually cleaned it out pretty good. But these ones, you can see they're not really even the same color as the back the back's more like a blue these are kind of like grayish from all the dirt so we're going to clean off the front ones and we'll clean off all the carpets and i think we should be good for today so let's go and let's finish her off yeah it's time to go and be the man of the house If the money coming in, then the money going out When shit hit the fan and the truth come about Can you handle that pressure or get swabbed by the doubt? It ain't about no gold, it ain't about no diamonds It's about who do you love? Do you put the time in for getting everything I'm told? To focus on grinding, yeah mama I know Let me get you to retirement You know I got your back, yeah I promise I'ma make it off these raps I'm sorry for the arguments and noise fighting back A few humbling days made me go and realize that I put my heart out in this track Dear mama, I got you, I got you. No matter how life goes I got you. No matter how life goes, how goes, I handle all the blows. All the blows. I learn from all the knows. You see a lot on my mind this past week. Been crazy. Wonder if my pops ever gonna see that 80. No, I'm optimistic. What I haven't been lately. Still waiting on the day when the labels come pay me. What you mistake me for? All these other fucking clowns. I'm too real in my music. I've always held it down. The truth is in my sound. The lies is in they frown. So what do you think, buddy? Is it a lot better? Well, 
I was gonna originally do the back seats first, like I said, but I figured the machine was on that side, so I just banged that whole side out. So we did that seat, that floor, the floor behind the passenger seat, and my seat. All I have left is to do is my floor and behind my passenger seat. But you guys can see the difference here already. That side is done. It's drying right now, so I know it looks like it's uh, muddy or something, but let me see if I can get some better light. So yeah, you can see this side, the carpet is nice and back to carpet. And this side, it's still a little bit dingy. Kind of give you guys a comparison there. I know it's a little hard to see because the lighting is crap in here. There we go. That's a little bit better. But yeah, so this side, this and the front. And I did all of that that we just did in one tank. So now I just got to go and fill up another tank of product. That way I can go and finish off the rest. But not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now uh, I'm going to go fill it and we'll finish this off and we'll finally be done. And here is the passenger side. You can see the seat is a lot better. But the floor is a lot better. It actually looks like carpet again. <laughs> so I'm really happy. Uh, honestly, that carpet cleaner thing that I got works great. I also did the seat belt. You can see the seat belt looks a lot better as well. Both sides, of course. And I still need to do that seat belt. But let's go. We'll fill up the tank and we'll be done. is done damn it looks good I know that on camera it looks like there's a little bit of uneven patches but that's just because of the way the carpet's sitting because it is still wet once it dries it'll actually settle down and look all even in one pattern I guess I don't know how to exactly uh, say it but you can see that side is starting to settle a bit let's go walk over there and check it out yeah so you can see this side is starting to even itself out starting to settle and it looks good that is a burn hole so don't worry that's not dirt but it looks great and the seats came out awesome no more dust coming off the seats it actually smells great in here now and i'm gonna run upstairs put everything away grab myself a battery so i can hook this guy up and it'll air out all the moisture that's in here from the floors and the seats and we should be good to go and then from there i think we're gonna be all cleaned up And perfect I'm so glad to be done it looks great in here everything is nice and fresh and honestly there's nothing like driving a nice freshly cleaned car and I don't know how long this one will last because obviously we're gonna take it off-roading but it is nice to have it nicely cleaned and I will definitely enjoy driving it 
I can't hop in it just yet because the seats are still a little bit wet. That's why we set up the fan. And I've got my power bank here. So I'll leave this with the fan set up on medium and basically have the window open about that much so that it blows out the window. So now we are done. And I am happy to say that because it did take me quite a bit to do this, but the results speak for themselves. The thing looks great. It pretty much looks like brand new again. I honestly am super happy with all the results and it came out awesome. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if you guys actually clean your vehicles this much. But I used to be a detailer, so that's why I go this uh, detailed. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it actually makes for a better experience and you enjoy your vehicle that much more when you drive it. So that's about it for today's video, guys. Honestly, it was a lot of work, but it was worth it in the end. And I'm happy that we did it. I'm still waiting for my parts. Uh, that one part, actually, I'm just waiting for the bracket to get welded onto the axle. As soon as the bracket comes in, We'll get all the new control arms in, the new track bar in, and we'll be ready to go and hit the trails. And believe me, I am itching to get back out on the trail. <laughs> I know I just got, uh, got back from a good trip and I broke a whole bunch of stuff, but that's the life and I can't wait to get back out. Next video with the Jeep, I am gonna be doing some rust repair. So definitely stay tuned for that because uh, she needs a little bit of love. So we'll be giving her a little bit of rust repair soon. If you're new around here, jump down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let me know what you guys enjoyed and I will be taking this thing off-road again soon. I know it's a little bit dirty still. Uh, I do need to get a few parts fixed. If you guys didn't watch the last few videos, you'll definitely want to go check those out because uh, we had a crazy off-roading trip to say the least. So uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. But we've got a few repairs to do. We've got a few other things that we need to fix. And as soon as we fix everything, we'll be back out on the trail. So it shouldn't be too long. But while we're waiting for parts, we're gonna keep doing a little bit of mods and maintenance and things like that. So let's not waste any time. But that's about it for today's video, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. So until then, guys, ride safe out there. Peace.